Hello, my name is Muhammad Naim and I'm from Group 1 and I represented uh, by the team to present about VOV. So, our group member is uh, me, Muhammad Naim Ramli and Muhammad Naim bin Muhammad Ramli, Michelle Briang, Ahmad Uzami bin Azman, uh, Kamizarif bin Rozali, dan Muhammad Nizman and Muhammad Isman Kuzaiman bin Rahman Ok, for introduction a valve, what is a valve? so a valve is a device that controls the flow of fluid which is liquid, gases and slurry in a pipe or other enclosure so the control is mean by accomplished through the use of movable piece of uh, piece that open closes or particularly obstruct a uh, routine opening so uh, in this report we only discuss uh, selected valve only so the selected uh, valve is the safety valve the gate valve the ball valve the butterfly valve and the globe valve so basically uh, valve uh, can be accomplished by manual and automatically manual is uh, Manual operation is use a manual operator power operator to operate the buff and the automatically uh, will be controlled by the control room. Uh, our objective of doing uh, the buff operation is uh, the first one is under to understand how a buff work. And the second is to recognize the fundamental of valve components, and the third is perform the valve maintenance, and the fourth is testing. Okay, for the equipment, we only use uh, two item, which is uh, the first is the toolbox, which is spanner, screwdriver, and so on, and the second is of course the valve, the safety valve, the gate valve. Uh, the ball buff, butterfly buff, and the drop buff. Okay, uh, we reach to the next point, which is a uh, type of valve, and I will explain about it uh, one by one. And I will start with with uh, safety valve. So safety valve is basically a valve that acts as a fail safe system. An example of safety valve is a pressure relief valve, which is automatically release a substance from a boiler. Pressure, uh, pressure vessel or other system when the pressure or temperature exceed the preset limits okay the second one is the gate valve uh, as uh, the name the gate uh, the gate valve is consists of a, uh, a gate that can be raised or lowered into a passageway the gate is uh, at right angle to flow and it moves up and down in slots that keep it vertical okay when entire litten off it is usually a uh, wedge shape and tighten again the side of the slot uh, so uh, the substance uh, cannot through the passageway so if a, a gate valve uh, is left in an intermediately or partially open state the bottom of the wedges and the seat will erode quickly therefore uh, the valve should always be wide open or totally closed okay the next is a uh, ball valve uh, the ball valve is a type of shut of valve that regulate the flow of a liquid or gases using a rotable ball with a ball the medium can flow through or is blocked by turning the ball a quarter turn uh, which is 90 degrees around it exists they have uh, a long service life that ensure reliable sealing over the life of the valve even when it is not in use for an extended period of time uh, next is butterfly valve the butterfly valve is a rotary motion valve with a quarter turn 0 degree to 90 degree closing 
the uh, closing the device made a uh, circular disk. Uh, when fully extended, the disk is parallel to the piping and extend into the pipe. So, uh, the main disadvantage of using a butterfly valve is basically uh, is due to its high pressure recovery. The service is limited to low pressure drop and the caviation and socket flow easily occurred with high pressure drop okay the last one is a uh, globe valve the globe valve is consists uh, a plug or a disc that it forces into a temperate hole called a seat the angle used on the taper of the seat and disc varies with the valve size and the kind of service to which the valve is applied the globe valve are used when the flow is to be resisted or throttled. The valve part are easily to repair and replace. So um, as additional, the advantage of the globe valve are increased resistance to flow, that is a uh, high pressure drop. The higher pressure under the, di under the disc uh, necessitate a greater effort to close the valve and the possibility that foreign matter may cause plugging of the valve. Okay, uh, the next part, which is uh, the valve component. Uh, as we can see, uh, on the f on the slide, uh, there is a, a spread view of the safety valve and the detail. Um, of course, it uh, contains a body post, seats, bonnets, lift label pin, hood, cap, uh, a lifter, lifter nut, pressure screw, spring, and disc. Okay, uh, for the gate valve, uh, there also a spread view of the gate valve, and the gate valve. Uh, is a form from a body, a seat ring uh, which is inside the body, the wedges shaped gate, bonnet, gland packing, the gland flower, the stem, uh, the o ring, and the hand wheel. Okay, uh, for the ball valve component, which is uh, there is a closer, a ball, uh, a o ring seal a body, stem, uh, a gland follower tool, and the seal stem and the seal ring. Move to butterfly valve components. Uh, is contained a hand wheel, a stem, a disc, uh, a, disc uh, a disc topper, a gland flange, and a driving gear which is inside the gland flange. Okay, the last one is a uh, globe valve component, which is uh, it has a seat rings inside the body, uh, a disc, a stem, a, uh, a gland flange, and a hand wheel. Okay, to the component uh, function, ball. Ball inside the ball valve are quarter turn on or off devices. A pivoting ball in the center of the valve control the flow of the liquid or the gas flow okay the second is bonnet bonnet is to cover the opening on top of a valve body the disc uh, functioning as a gate that uh, stop or throttle fluid flow the disc stopper consider uh, the equivalence to a seat ring that create a shut off surface and the gland packing is fitted inside a stuffing box uh, between the body and the shaft to provide a seal. The hand wheel, of course, to prov uh, provide the yeah. operator uh, with the mean to override the control system and to operate the valve manually. Uh, the next is a uh, lifter. 
diffuser is a mechanism to relieve excess uh, pressure and to reclose and the o-ring is to block the fluid inside the uh, inside the valve and prevent uh, fugitive emission the pressure screw is to move the disc when the lifter is pushing the set ring is to create a shear of surface the stem uh, is a connector to control uh, the to control a part and the disc and the wedges shape gate is introduced as a high supplementary setting load that enable metal sealed wedges gate uh, in above to seal against and not only high but also low fluid pressure okay this is a very important notes that uh, all the students need to take care of which is the safety precaution so here are some the important safety precaution that students should be aware of while overhauling the buff so the first one is wear protecting gear which is students should uh, always wear protecting gear uh, such as glove if needed google if needed and uh, a proper clothes while working on above and the second is follow manufacturing instruction uh, which is students should always follow the manufacturing instruction and procedure when overhauling the valve this can prevent damage to the valve and ensure a safe and effective overhaul uh, the third is uh, use proper tool Students should use uh, proper tools and equipment to avoid damaging the valve or causing injury to themselves. And if necessary, seek for help if a student are not experienced in overhauling the overhauling the valve. They should seek help uh, from experienced technician or professional, which is uh, our lecturers, to avoid injury or damage to the valve and ourselves. So the last one is. Um, practicing ethic in the laboratory always be caution of the surrounding and do not joke around while in the laboratory area ok for overhaul uh, a safety valve so the step to the assemble the safety valve is the first one is to remove the leaf label pin and use a scraper to loose the screw and open the cap so take off the leaf lever together with the hood and then open the body post using the spanner uh, 25 and then remove the pressure screw from the bonnet and then slowly slowly take out the seat and lastly take out the disc with the spring so uh, this step to set up the valve uh, the safety valve uh, bag Put the spring back into the body, re uh, re replace back the disc and the seats, tighten back the body part, put back the pressure screw and tighten it to the bonnet. And then uh, put the leaf lever together with the hood and put back the leaf lever pin. So uh, for the maintenance, basically uh, clean the cap, hood, bonnet, body post using clean clothes and it, uh, is needed with a pistol pump air and the second is change the new set of spring and then replace the disc with the new set of disc so the gate valve step to disassemble the gate valve firstly uh, loose the nut and remove the hand uh, remove the hand wheel second uh, slowly take out the steam open the gland flower and gland packing then remove the bonnet and after that, carefully take out the wedges shape gate from the body. So, uh, the setup procedure of component in gate valve. The first one is set up the wedges shape gate, set up uh, the bonnet and the body, combine the clamp packing and the clamp flower with the nut, arrange back uh, the gate valve, 
and tighten back the nut with the cross method by reference on the marking so the maintenance is basically uh, clean the body bonnet the clean the body the bonnet the wedges shape gate and gland using a clean close and if necessary also uh, use a pistol air pump and then put the grease or put grease on the stem uh, for smoothness and replace the oil ring with a new oil ring the new one and the last one is change the seat ring with a new set of seat ring okay uh, step to the assemble the ball valve the first one is loose the nut and take out the clean flower then take out the seal stem steel stem and stem after that slowly separate the body and the closure and lastly take out the ball so uh, to set up procedure the set up procedure of the component in the ball of half the first one is set up the ball into the body combine body and combine the body and the crochet together with the nuts set up the stem the stem and join with the gland tight up uh, the gate valve so for the maintenance uh, same as uh, before clean the body the crochet and the ball with the clean close and if necessary with a pistol the pump put the grease on the stem for smoothness and change the seal ring with the new set of seal ring uh, of the seal ring ok step to disassemble uh, the butterfly valve the firstly uh, is to loose the nut and open the gland flange then slowly take out the stem and finally remove the driving gear so to set up uh, back the component in butterfly valve is to combine the gland flange and driving gear insert the stem and tighten the nut using a cross method so the maintenance uh, for butterfly valve is clean and uh, clean the gland flange put the grease on the stem and uh, drive gear and clean the disc uh, so we reach to the last part of uh, the overhaul the valve so uh, for globe valve step to assemble the globe valve firstly uh, loosen the bonnet and the gland nut on both sides separate the two sides and remove the hand wheel the last is remove the stem to set up uh, the component back in a, uh, a globe valve the first one is put the stem partially, per, partially uh, through the bonnet, tighten the gland nut, reinstall the hand wheel and resemble the two part and tighten the bonnet. So uh, to maintain a globe valve is clean the flange, inspect the stem, uh, clean the bonnet and also inspect the disc. Okay, we reach to observation, observation part. Okay, here are some observations that can be made while conducting an overhaul procedure for various types of buff, including uh, the safety buff, ball buff, gate buff, butterfly buff, and the glow buff. So, the first one is safety buff. The, uh, check the spring for sign of corrosion or damage. Inspect the buff body and seat uh, for sign of corrosion or damage. Uh, for ball valve, check the valve for sign of wear or damage such as crack, dents or corrosion and also don't forget to inspect the seat and the seal for a sign of wear, damage or corrosion. The gate valve, the gate valve um, we need to check the gate for sign of wear or damage also and such as crack, dent or corrosion and also don't forget to inspect the seat and guide for sign of wear damage or corrosion for the butterfly valve also check the disc for the sign of wear and damage uh, which is uh, crack, dent or corrosion and also inspect the shaft bearing and seal for the globe valve don't forget check uh, to forget the, 
don't forget to check the stem, the disc, and the seat for sign of wear and damage or corrosion. And also inspect the bonnet and gasket for sign of wear damage or corrosion. So in general, it is important to carefully inspect all the component of the valve for sign of wear damage or corrosion and to replace any one and damage component with the new part. So uh, in conclusion, those valves play a critical role in controlling the flow of fluid in various industry. So overhauling uh, the valve is necessary to maintain their functionality and prevent unexpected failure. The purpose of overhauling procedure is to inspect, repair, or to replace the internal component of the valve and restore it to its original condition. So, um, different type of valve, such as a safety valve, ball, gates, and butterfly, has different component that require attention during the overhauling. For example, uh, the ball valve require inspection of the ball and the seats while butterfly valve need to check the disc and the shaft and the important part is it is uh, essential to follow safety precaution while avoiding the valve such as uh, wearing a patient uh, protective gear following the manufacturer instruction and always beware and caution of the environment and the environment and don't play and don't joke around so um, in summary overly nervous uh, those buff is crucial for ensuring their longevity reliability and safe operation proper inspection uh, repair and maintenance of the internal component of this buff help to minimize downtime downtime and reduce the risk of and reduce the risk of accident. In term of learning, students can learn detail about the buff part, mechanism, the function that help in their future work. That's all.